Welcome in from the gang. You are what you think. That statement alone can explain why you might not like your life at this moment. That statement alone can determine if you become a success or a failure. And today I'm gonna go over four main reasons why that is. I am Ivor Zagoya and this video was inspired from Dr. Miles Monroe and John Maxwell. It is important we take a look at this powerful statement before we embark in our journey to become successful. If you like this type of content, give it a like and well, let's get started with the video. Reason one of why you are what you think. Monroe and Maxwell say that if they could give a number one tip on how to be successful, it would be to change the way how you think. You see, the average mind thinks like this. You know what? I'm not gonna be rich because I have so many setbacks. I can't make it into the NBA because I'm not 6'1", 6265. I can't get dates because I'm not that good looking or even I'm not successful because I was born in these situations. But you see, the successful mind thinks of it as different. It does not think that it can't get rich because of this or that. Instead, it asks itself, how can I become financially free? How can I make it to the NBA? How can I improve my dating game? And how can I be successful? When you tell yourself that you are going to be successful because you're so smart, because you're so tall, because of this, this and that, then you're limiting yourself. Because by telling yourself that there's a certain requirement of things for you to be successful that you inherently have to have, then that means that when you don't have them, then you're not going to be successful. And that is a real catch here. You cannot blame things that you can't control. When we blame things that can't be controlled, we give away the chance of change. It is not what you were born with or born without. It is the attitude you have towards those things and you changing how you approach life. Reason two, changing your attitude. Changing your attitude in life will quite literally change your life. Most successful people out there have a positive attitude, not because they are successful, it was their attitude that made them successful. Your attitude changes how you think about life. What you pay attention to is what you will be given in life. If you pay attention to bad things around you, that is what is going to be given to you. So let's start to change our attitude to succeed. There are three steps and it is very easy. Step number one is to feed your mind correctly. Feed your mind bad news and negative self-talk and you will get a life full of insecurity, hopelessness, powerless, and even meaningless life. Feed your mind with positive things like inspiring topics and positive self-talk and you will get a life of security, full of hope, empowerment, and full of meaning. What you pay attention will be what life gives you. So pay attention to the good things in life in order to start to get the good things. Step two, meditate on the good things. So not only do you need to feed your mind the good things in life, you need to take a conscious thought of the good things in your life. You need to meditate on the good things that are already there for you, the people that support you, the opportunities given to you, the connections you make, and even the simple fact that you are alive and well. Meditating on good things is going to ensure that you are able to focus on them more, see them more, and therefore enjoy them more. The more you practice gratitude, the more you will enjoy life. Step three, act. Out of all the steps, this is probably the most important in changing your attitude. Acting is a crucial part of any vision. Acting on the opportunities you see, acting on fixing problems, acting on changing your life is going to change your attitude real quick. Remember, without action, a vision is simply a fantasy. Reason number three take responsibility. Surprisingly, the average person gives away so much responsibility in their life. In doing so, they give away so much power over their life. They don't like their financial situation, their health conditions, or even their social status, but they don't give themselves the proper responsibilities and therefore give away the power that they need in order to change those situations. What many people are trying to avoid is the responsibility of some things. 
You know, after all, responsibilities can be a hassle. You don't want to be responsible for certain things after all. They're just another burden upon you. But what many people miss is that when you have a responsibility, you also have power. And with power, that everyone wants. But no one wants the responsibility. And what many people fail to understand is that they are a bundle of two. They come in one and you cannot have one without the other. Otherwise, it leads to destruction. So let's start to see how things are done rather than why things are or this is the condition. So instead of thinking, I can't afford that, think, how can I afford that? Instead of thinking, oh man, I am so not fit, say, how can I become fit? Instead of saying, you know what, I feel lonely, I don't like my social status right now, say, how can I change that? It is about taking responsibility. You see, I'm a firm believer, so I know God has put me through many situations in my life. If you're not a believer, you could just say a life or the universe or whatever you believe in. But whatever it is, just know that life is going to put you through a lot of situations. But that does not matter. It is how you go through those situations. It is you that gets to control some of the outcome that goes through it. You might not be able to choose what test you're given, how you go through it. Are you going to put effort? Are you going to get an A? Maybe an F. It is up to you. Reason four, beliefs and the environment determine how you think and therefore act. When there is an insecure person, you know they don't have a strong belief about themselves because they are insecure. If they did have a strong belief about themselves, then you would know that they have confidence. You see, it is like the lion who was raised in captivity surrounded with dogs. All its life, it thought it was a dog. All its life, the lion could never see his true potential. All because the lion thought he was a dog rather than a lion. When you believe you can succeed, you will know that you will succeed. Know that you are strong. Know that you are loved. And you will get all the benefits of that. On top, beware of your environment. You are a seed and you need good soil to flourish and become a strong tree. Don't put yourself in soil that is putrid with hatred and negativity and pain. Place yourself with people that encourage you and an environment that gives you opportunities. If you want to see how embracing failure actually helps you succeed, you should watch the video I made for that. Also, did you find this helpful? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching.